I do a lot of training for many corporations and I conduct sales seminars and I've heard all kind of guys doing techniques and training um, people techniques of how to close sales and how to work with and, and begin to control the, the sale and how to ask for the close. Let me share something with you. You can learn all the techniques in the world. If you don't believe in yourself, it won't happen for you. I learned all of it. So that's why I do a training called Focus on the Seller. You've got to focus on you. And as you convince you, as you sell yourself, every day, every day, every day, you will begin to see a difference in the things that you're doing. Selling yourself on your ability to perform a job, to achieve a certain objective, telling yourself every day, here I go again, and I got what it takes. This is my day and nothing out here is going to stop me. The other thing is take full responsibility for your life. Accept where you are and the responsibility that you're going to take yourself where you want to go. Someone said we have two primary choices in life. We can either accept conditions as they exist or we can take the responsibility to change them. See, a lot of people want to exempt themselves from taking responsibility. All they want to do is talk about the problem. Every time you see them, they'll tell you their story over and over and over and over again. No, no. You want to take responsibility for your life. I got me here, I can get me out of this. And I'm getting out. I'm not going to be a volunteer victim. George Bernard Shaw said there are two kinds of people in life. You know, he said, those that make things happen, those that watch things happen, and those that don't know what happened. <laughs> and he said, the people that get along in this life look around for the circumstances that they want, and if they can't find them, they make them. They create them. So part of beginning to get unstuck, you've got to decide that the behavior pattern that you have adopted doesn't work for you. You've got to change your strategies, and changing your strategy means reinventing your life. Recreating you, and you have the power to do that. You can decide that you're going to change, that you're not going to be a wimp. You can decide that you're going to stand up to life. You can decide that I'm going to live each day as if it were my last. You, can, you have the power to make that decision. You can decide, I'm going to work on myself and develop myself. I'm going to empower me. And all of these things that are happening to me right now, they're just temporary inconveniences. They're not stronger than I am. I'm in charge here. Overcoming the negative conversation, that inner dialogue that's going on all the time, all the time, even when you don't want it to be there. You can't stop yourself right now from thinking. You can't do it. It's going on. And so learning how to empower yourself, part of doing that is standing up to yourself. You've got to stand up inside yourself sometimes and say, shut up. <laughs> You've got to do this. I was going to give a presentation and this voice inside of me saying, you can't do this. You don't have everything it takes. I shut up. <laughs> I'm behind on my bills and you're telling me what I can't do. I have got to do it. You'll get scared sometimes. Your mind will go blank on you. Some people you will allow to unnerve you. And you wonder, what's wrong with me? I'm not crazy. That's why you've got to learn to make a conscious, deliberate, determined effort to stand up inside yourself. Working on yourself, watching that inner dialogue, it will determine the quality of your life. I was working on a job. And I came home one day, I was married at the time, and I told my former wife, I said, that guy Bert I work for is stupid. She said, if he's so stupid, why does he sign you a paycheck? <laughs> now you see why I divorced her, right? <laughs> I couldn't stand her. <laughs> that night, I could not sleep well. Here was a guy that was controlling my life. I was going through all kind of changes.
because this man controlled my paycheck. And it was Carlisle who said, truth crushed to earth shall rise again. Winston Churchill said, the truth is incontrovertible. Malice may attack it, ignorance may deride it, but at the end, there it is. And we know scripture that says, ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. And the truth that I had to come to grips with, that I wasn't in charge of my destiny. The truth was that I wasn't giving all that I had. The truth was that there are some things that I wanted to do, but I didn't have the courage to act on those things. And the truth was that Bert Charles was a blessing to me. He made life so miserable for me, I had to start looking at my life differently. I started going to work earlier. I started being the last one to leave there. I started working harder than anybody else. The other guys could not, why would you work so hard, Les? I said, I'm not working for them. I have been cheating, Bert, I thought. I've been cheating myself and my family, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, do it with everything that you have. Develop the habit of giving more than what you're paid for. Develop the habit of, of setting standards that others will be measured by. Someone said, do not go where the path may lead, but go where there's no path and leave a trail. I don't care how good you are, I don't care how talented you are, I don't care how much you work on yourself, there are some times when things aren't going to go right. They just are not going to go right. There are times when anything that can happen will happen. Murphy's Law will be knocking at your door. Why? I don't know why. That's called life. And you have to deal with it. Sometimes your life will be in a slump, just like sports. Some of the best shooters can't hit baskets different times in games. They get in a slump. Do they sit on the sideline and say, you know, I just didn't hit a basket today? No, they continue to execute. I suggest to you that if you are facing a challenge, don't stop. Stay busy, work your plan. Continue to do those things that you know that work for you after you have evaluated yourself in the situation. Continue to move, stay busy, stay busy, stay busy. I'm saying this is a time more than ever that you want to begin to inoculate yourself with positive words, coming to conventions, showing up on meetings, being on the calls to make yourself unstoppable, to get out of your mind the polluting negative thoughts that's causing most people to go through life being stuck because they're volunteer victims. Somebody said that many people die at age 25 and don't get buried until they're 65 because they got so much garbage in their minds. You are here because you've got a clear vision of what you want and where you're going. Give yourselves a round of applause. Come on, bring your energy level up. Yes, yes. You want more. You want more. You're different. You're different than everybody else. Don't worry if they don't get it. Don't try and convince people to do this business. A person convinced against their will is of the same opinion still. You are not like everybody else. You can walk outside and find pigeons, but if you're looking for eagles, it's going to take you a minute. You are different. It's lonely at the top. How many of you know it's lonely at the top? Raise your hands. It's lonely at the top, but you eat better. That's what I'm talking about. You're different. One great entrepreneur said, I choose not to be a common man. It's my right to be uncommon if I can. I seek opportunity, not security. I do not wish to be a kept citizen, humbled and dull by having the state look after me. I want to take the calculated risk to dream and to build, to fail and to succeed. I refuse to live from hand to mouth. I prefer the challenges of life to the guaranteed existence, the thrill of fulfillment to the still calm of utopia. I will never cower before any master, nor bend to any threat. It's my hair is to stand erect, proud and unafraid, to face the world boldly and say, this I have done. You showed up because you're building a business that you can stand and say, I did this. I did this. This is my dream. Give yourselves a round of applause. Yes. 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 Yes.
It's hard changing your life. It was hard when just over three years ago in the Penobscot building in Detroit, Michigan, where I was operating my business and I fell on some hard times and I was sleeping in my office. It was hard coming into the lobby and the security said, excuse me, Mr. Brown, can we see you for a moment? And I said, yes. And I walked up to the counter and he gave me an envelope. And he said, would you mind reading it here? And I opened the envelope and the envelope was from management that said, this is an office tower. It's not a hotel. Please do not sleep in your office. And I said, excuse me, sir. I said, I just work long hours in creating my business. I'm an entrepreneur. And right now things are bad for me, but they're not going to be this way always. And I just asked for the opportunity to continue to operate like I'm doing. I'm not trying to make this my home. And it was hard coming through the lobby. And sometimes they would laugh. There's a guy talking about becoming successful. And look at him. He's bathing in the bathroom upstairs on the 21st floor. He sleeps on the floor. Him and two other dreamers up there. Look at him. It was hard, ladies and gentlemen, coming to speak to people. And I was facing financial difficulties in my own life. I was behind on my bills and my dreams. And I'm saying to them, you can live your dream. It was hard, ladies and gentlemen. It was very difficult to pick myself up each day believing that I could do it. There were times that I doubted myself. I said, God, why, why is this happening to me? I'm just trying to take care of my children and my mother. I'm not trying to steal a rob from anybody. Why did this have to happen to me? It was very hard. And here's what I want to say to you. For those of you that have experienced some hardships, don't give up on your dream. No one could have convinced me by holding on, by continuing to push forward, by continuing to run toward my dream, that one day I would have my own talk show. It's a long shot, ladies and gentlemen, from Liberty City, an abandoned building on a floor never knowing my mother or father. It's a long shot being here with you today in this dome in Atlanta. It's a long shot. No college training, labeled, educable, mentally retarded, but I kept running toward my dream. Don't stop. Don't stop. toward your dream.